Hey there gamers, just shot, and this is my playthrough of the season finale of the Walking Dead video game for wikigameguides.com. So here we are, the last episode. It's been a long road of emotions. This whole season has been mind-blowing. But I can tell you right now, season one seems a bit shorter to me, but just as emotional as, say, as episode three. Uh, great writing, a lot of suspense, a lot of emotions went through that. Though I would never play episode 3 ever again because it's so goddamn de uh, depressing. But anyway, so I'm putting this part in the video just to answer a few... Um, I know it's uh, in the comments, people wondering why I don't talk in these Walking Dead videos. Uh, to me, it, there's no real or wrong choice when you're... It's just how you want to play it or how you feel like answering. The only way you could actually fail the game is during QT events. And all I could say is just push the puns down fast. Uh, that's pretty much it. So, and I feel like me talking over the cinematics just uh, ruins the experience. I mean, you, you probably find other people funny or something like that. I don't know if anyone finds me funny, but uh, since I haven't been doing this too long, though, if you do want to hear a sample of me commentating, I did do the testament of Sherlock Holmes walkthrough and the collectibles and achievements guide for the fall of Cybertron for WikiGameGuides.com. And I do have a channel of my own. You can find it in the descriptions. Uh, I don't upload as often as I used to, but you know, you can check it out, see some of the old stuff that I used to do. But uh, anyway, back to the season, uh, season finale. The whole season's been amazing, great, mind blowing. All those big words you could think of. Uh, it's a great way to bounce back from. For Telltale Games to bounce back from releasing Jurassic Park, which was horrendous. And sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. That game is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Anyway, so, though I, yeah, props up, Telltale Games. Great recovery. And I hope you continue to make great games. Anyways, before I forget, there is an epilogue at the end of the credits. So just don't miss it. And I hope to see you in the next season or next walkthrough that I do. All right. Let's fire this thing up. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I want to find my parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! <laughs> no. no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. <laughs> Clementine! Holy... Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you... I choose my next word very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that.
Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Looks like Vernon and his people cleared their shit out of here in a hurry. Where the hell did they go? I think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me up just looking at it. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Hey, I think I found a way out. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Jesus, what are you guys talking about? We thought maybe with your bite. If we removed it, you might live. I know it's drastic. You think? But what if it works? It might be the only way. What do you think? Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. 
I'll go as fast as I can. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you. Ah! Ah! Try to stay still! Ah! 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 Oh, fuck! Gotta tighten the tourniquet. Ah! Just hold on! Been out a while, man. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you can believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. Yes, then. <laughs> 